while ago, I made a video looking at what CRG say the minimum spec is, and over the last few months, I've been testing different parts, lower end parts, to see what is what. And I think finally now, after doing some testing with all generations of Ryzen, I'm in a place where I can recommend a minimum spec PC build. Now, before we get into all the different components, I just want to say, obviously, this is all price tag. Let's think about price tag. What are we saying, guys? I want to see some prices here. What do you think? Price wise, this is going to cost, and I hope the guy gets into this. But I want to see some prices here, and I want to, we're going to play like let's make a deal. <laughs> like, okay, six hundred dollars says Jack. We have six hundred dollars. Do I hear six oh one? Six. Like this is prices right. This is prices right. I want to see who comes closest. Eight oh one says Jack. Eight oh <laughs> ten thousand. I think ten thousand. All right, all right. Strato says, I love this guy. He's so detailed and he puts in a ton of work. I think this is the guy we watched who did the Citizen Con in 10 years, which was really good. So I think we've watched one from him before as well. So we're saying we got a pretty wide range here. We're going all the way from like 600 up to 1500. A six to 1500. Farrell's going up with the upper, with the upper quote. Uh, Farrell's going up to 4,200. <laughs> yeah, we're, it's interesting. Let's see who wins. All my opinion, but based on testing. But the main thing to know is that a minimum spec normally for a game kind of guarantees you playable performance. What this will do, the things I'm going to say, the things I'm talking about here, will guarantee a barely playable performance. Star Citizen is a bit of a, an optimized mess. We're waiting for a lot of things. And so this sort of hardware is just enough to get you in the game and, and see what's around if you're used to nice buttery frames 60 fps maybe yeah, go get that, that with this build star system is not the game for you it chugs on all hardware even the best of the best the game in certain parts will be very low performance but if you wanted to look around the game have a quick go you can just about play some of the missions with this sort of spec this is for you so let's get into it first up let's talk about cpus which is by far the most important what's going to use video and the most complicated CRG recommend a quad core CPU on their website and I think that's plainly wrong that is not enough and in the testing I've done a six core will get you much much better performance and I would recommend a six core as the minimum spec yeah you need at least a six core <laughs> so I wonder if he's using the six core Kev where you been buddy so good to see you man thanks for that subscription bro the Intel side you probably don't want to go much further back than the eighth gen of Intel chips because I think I'll say 16 point, Decker they responded to Ryzen and they started to increase their core count so the i5 has six cores and the i7 has I feel one. like he's gonna whereas before that all the i7s were four core eight thread multi-thread I think he's gonna, five, gonna five, use 16 though I feel like he's gonna say 16 but I agree it's 32 on but the Ryzen I, side you think you've 32 got this chart here which will show you the testing I've done recently which shows that really the 1000 series doesn't really cut it and performance is pretty bad especially in the cities which are the most uh, performance intensive part. What's up, Ash? Uh, so, really, on the Ryzen side, the minimum that I recommend would be the 2000 series. Uh, and again, so the 2600 is Thanks, the 6 12 thread part. Both of those chips, yeah, those recommendations are. I just wonder what he's using on this build. I, I think that he's going to. I think that he's going to push up for the six core, and I think he's going to tone down on the memory of the 16, and he's going to up it on the SSD. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right, or if you guys are right. Let's see. Relatively cheap. Again, we're talking about minimum spec. Your performance won't be great, but it will be enough to get you in the game. GPUs. The short version of this is that I've tested the RX 460, a very slow graphics card, the 570 from AMD as well, and then from NVIDIA, I've tested the 1050 Ti and the 1060 6 gigabyte. And the only one of those I could recommend for 1080p would be the 1060 6 gigabyte. And so realistically, I, I just wouldn't recommend going any lower than that. There's obviously, you can look at graphics cards comparison things there's other cards that are in that range but that sort of card would be what you want and yeah it recommended four gigabytes from CIG that's fine you you can play with four gigabyte card but I wouldn't go out and buy a four gigabyte card I'd potentially go and buy one with a bit more if you could the other thing so right. this is that there now is a load of up so he's got a 10 so he's got a 1060 is his uh, GPU so he's got a 1060 in terms of you can use AMD's FSR technology to upscale so you've got Magpie, you've got uh, lots of scaling as well that's available on Steam, a little program you can buy. Yeah, well, he's doing it on like the minimum amount say, 70, of money. Up to so we're guessing like where we're going to end up say that is on money. Upscaling Kev. from 720p to 1080p doesn't look great. So you have lost quite a lot of uh, 
picture quality as you do that. The upscaling really works best from higher resolutions, maybe from something like 44p up to 4k, which obviously is not what we're talking about with a minimum spec build. But you have the option there. If you've got a slower graphics card than the ones I've mentioned there, a slower graphics card than the 1060 6 gigabyte, you have got the option to run the game at 720p or even potentially lower and upscale it to get better frames. But the game will not potentially look very good. Let's talk about RAM. RAM's an interesting topic. What's he going to say? Really sound like it, but in Star Citizen, it is. Lots of people will say 32 gigs is best for Star Citizen, and I would say it is best. But as a minimum spec, you can play with 16 gigs. Boom! You can Boom! There we go. He's using 16 gigabytes, just like I thought. There we go. I hit that one. I hit that one. I hit it. I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to do that. I can actually technically play with less. I've played with less on the Shadow Cloud Gaming platform. Anarchy's still in at 1200. Still plays the game. The only thing to say is that <laughs> right, obviously right, you'll get stutters. Everybody gets stutters in Star Citizen, but you'll get more 16 gig. Uh, and also, you may well need to manually increase the size of your page file because the game has been known in certain areas where RAM usage really goes up and up and up, like Horizon. In the, most the game cases. sometimes does crash. So you, sometimes people have come to me, sent messages and said, oh, what's going on here? And yeah, that would be good sketch. Advice is increase the size of your page file if you've got 16 gigs of RAM, and that normally stops the game crashing. So minimum spec is again what we're talking about today. 16 gigs. I got it. Let's I hit that one. Storage. All right, what's so, he gonna use? Again, what's he gonna say for storage? What do we got on what do we got? What do we got for storage? What's he using? What's he gonna use? I mean it's gotta be SSD. <laughs> But look, like, what is he going to use for it? Yeah, I mean, like, right, right, Deck. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? <laughs> I mean, M.2, yeah, dude. I mean, like, for, for real, that'd be great. He's not going to use that for this, though. He's not going to use that for this. He's, he's, six-inch Commodore <laughs> <laughs> Legion, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Star Citizen website suggests that you can play without an SSD. That is wrong. <laughs> you should not do that for your own sake, and for the sake of everybody you know. It will drive you up the wall because loading times will be increased massively on a hard drive. No and shit. And also, just the game is a bit of a stuttery mess. And yes, what's we're up, kind Jimmy? Of stutters and some of the other topics we're talking about. Yes, there are going to be stutters, but. Playing on What's a hard he using? Drive is no fun at all. And, and just okay, thank God he didn't say HDD drive. So what are we going with, fam? What is he gonna say? Is he gonna is he gonna go SSD? Or is he gonna go M.2? We know he's not going HDD. Thank God. What I'm gonna say he's gonna say SSD. I mean he's going with minimum spec. So I'm saying SSD. Yeah, me too, Deckard. I got the memory right. <clears throat> I got the memory right. And yeah, it is ideal. You're right. But for minimum, he's going to go SSD. No fun at all. And, and just is not yeah. acceptable, I don't think, in this day and age for Star Citizen. Now, this build, as I say at the start, it won't be great. Performance won't be great. <laughs> and you will be able to play the game. It won't I love that he has to preface that this is not going to be a good experience. Like, like I, I, when you're seeing a title, this is the sad thing. This is so sad about being a content creator and the thing that I, it's, it is a sad thing. When you see a title, right, that says Star Citizen, the real minimum requirements, okay, specs to uh, build your PC. It is so sad that the content creator has to reiterate that this is not for, like, the best experience, right? Like, I, I feel so sad for content creators <laughs> right now. Be 30 FPS all the way around. Definitely not in the cities, especially. But it will be what I would decide. I would, I would declare as barely playable. But really, even if you spent thousands of pounds on a game uh, on hardware for Star Citizen. So he said SSD, still, right? Get great performance. We're hoping for optimization to come as time goes on. We're hoping for my favorite topics, the Gen 12 renderer and Vulcan <laughs> being fully implemented <laughs> no. in the next let's hope year or so and then also we're just hoping for general optimization so that the game will run better on this sort of build now i'm anticipating lots of people comments saying well i play this on a much lower a much older hardware than that and it's worked fine and that will be true this is not perfect this is just what i've tested and what i can say i'm happy to call this my minimum spec build but you will get other people saying yes it will run on older you might get people who are still absolutely slamming 
their Sandy Bridge i7 and absolutely overclocking the heck out of it and still getting happy performance. They're happy with the performance. But for my recommended build, based on what I've tested in the last year, this is what I would recommend. So hopefully that's been helpful. If it has been, feel free to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And you can now even join the, uh, the channel and support, which is wonderful as well. Uh, but that's enough for this one. I'll see. No price point. Oh, no price point. Gonna have to make me look all their shit up on Google. Oh, no. Oh, no. £10.42 is this guy's name. Man, there should have been a price point. We were all waiting. Somebody figure that up. Somebody go Somebody go while we're streaming and figure up the price point so I can plug it in the highlight when we put it onto YouTube. There's going to be a lot of people that are salty that are going to be saying, what? No price point. No price point. Come on, £10.42. Oh, that's something. Uh, that's a content fail right there. That's a content creator fail right there. Sorry, £10.42. I mean, it was good information, but come on. Price point salty, Mike, would be salty. All right, back to the sure.